I came up in my granddaddy's house at 1017 First Avenue, an olive green two-bedroom in Bessemer near the tr train tracks. Inside were my granddaddy, my mama, Duke, and me, but it was never just us. 1017 had a rotating cast of family characters who could be staying there at any time. Walter Jr., my uncle, we call him GOAT, was always in and out of jail. When he wasn't locked up, he'd be there. Or one of my many aunties and her kids might move in for a while. The house was small, 672 square feet to be precise, so things got tight. Sometimes Duke and I got the bunk beds. Sometimes I'd be on the couch. Other times the floor. My granddaddy had an extra rollaway bed in his room. At one point, there was a bed in the living room. It switched up. Can you relate to that? What were your thoughts? Can yeah, he basically saying it was a small house, had a lot of family in the house. So it wasn't much room. You know, you had to share the bed with you, your brother, sister, cousin, family. I got like 12 boy cousins, and it's just me and one of my girl cousins. So I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> what was it like for you growing up? Um, it was kind of rough because I was really like the only girl. I was the youngest out of everybody. So they gave me a hard time. That's why I'm really like in a, like a tomboy stage because I, I grew up around a lot of boys. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, it was a little rough. Somebody watching this, let's say they're growing up in a similar environment. Mm -hmm. Only girl, a lot of guys, a lot of boys around them. Any advice to somebody that has to work? I mean, not work. Somebody has to grow in that environment, grow up. Um, Anything you would tell somebody that has to be surrounded by a lot of testosterone? I mean, honestly, not really. I mean, it's your family. So at the end of the day, just enjoy it as long as you can. Family is family. Now, this book, hold mm -hmm. this book up for a second. When you see a book like this from right. Gucci Mint, what does this mean to you? This is his autobiography. He came a long way. He really did come a long way. Like, he got his own book. That's big. Rappers don't usually write autobiographies. At all. <laughs> What's your opinion of Gucci Mint? Um, hard. Gangster. He don't give a fuck. Have you, had a, his mind. <laughs> have you had a chance to meet him? Um, yeah, a while back. I met him in the studio with Thug. Like once. This was in, um, this was, how long ago do you think this was? Probably 2013 or 14. So this is when he had the big stomach. Mm hmm Before he did his last uh, prison bid. Yeah. Before he got married to Keisha Kaoa. Yeah. Now, um, would you work on a song with him? Would you collab on a record with him? Yeah, I actually had a song. I never dropped it. It was called Free Goo Up. Oh. Yeah, I never dropped it though. Why but, not? Um, I don't know, because I really was like, I was supposed to go back in and change a little stuff, because I wanted the song to be perfect. But I just never did. Like, I was kind of like talking like him. Like, I really liked the song. I just never got to drop it. And it's like, now he free, so I can't drop it now. What would a song with you and Gucci sound like? How would you want Gucci on a record with you? Trap. It's, gonna, it's just trap, like, it wanna, gotta be trap. Want a verse from him, a hook? Do you wanna? A verse and a hook. <laughs> I just have a verse on there, I don't care. He on there. <laughs> would you create it from scratch or do you have a record already in mind, like let's say Gucci no, Man? I'm creating that from scratch. <laughs> yeah. Now, this is an autobiography. This is a book about his life up mm -hmm. until this point. If you were to create an autobiography of right. yourself and make a book, what would you call it? What would the title of yours be? Mm -hmm. It would probably be my real name versus Cold Hearted. Ah. Like almost two personalities. Yeah. Just explaining my how I was when I was little growing up and up until cold hearted. 